Hello class, this is section 4.1, uh, Geography and Early Egypt. So before I start talking about the first section on uh, the gift of the Nile, I wanted to uh, cover a few of the important vocabulary terms from it. So the first term is uh, cataract. So a uh, cataract, they're, they're rapids along a river like those along the Nile in Egypt. So think of them as they're kind of like waterfalls or um, rapids, right? Like if, you, if you've ever been whitewater rafting or you've seen videos of people going whitewater rafting, it's just fast moving water that makes it difficult to travel over the river, right? So there's a picture here you can see um, of a very large cataract. They wouldn't often be this big, but they can be. And then another term you need to know for this section is delta. A delta is a triangle-shaped area of land made from soil deposited by a river. So you can see here this little green area. Um, you can see all the green, like the green going down. That's all along the Nile River, right? So the, the water floods along the Nile and creates the fertile land. So that's all that green. But then as you get you know north in northern Africa, close to the Mediterranean Sea, the Nile River kind of fans out and creates this, this delta, this triangle shaped area of land, which is right, right here. Okay. Uh, so the first section is on the gift of the Nile. And so the Nile River allowed Egypt to thrive. That's what allowed it to be so successful. It, it was the Nile River. Um, so some parts here, uh, looking at this map, uh, upper Egypt was up river of the Nile. So if you see here, up, upper upper Egypt here, right? Upper upper Egypt is here, and lower Egypt is here, right? To to make sense of this, know that right upper Egypt is, if you flipped it, that would make, um, kind of make it make sense to me. But the idea is, um, the the Nile River flows north, right? It flows this way, right up into the Mediterranean Sea. So this land's higher, right? There's more mountainous land up here, so. This is Upper Egypt, right? And the Nile flows uh, north or down into Lower Egypt. Um, the Nile created fertile river. The Nile created a fertile river valley, thirteen miles wide. So, see here the river, and you've got the green surrounding it. That would be thirteen miles wide, right? Uh, and you can see it was surrounded by desert on both sides, right? You've got desert here and here the river and then the, the river valley, the green fertile river valley around it. Um, the southern border of Egypt at the first cataract here made sailing nearly impossible. So this, like that picture I showed, you just saw of the, of the waterfall and the, the rapids, right? It made sailing into Egypt, right? Difficult because there was a, a waterfall of sorts there, right? Um, so it made sailing nearly impossible. Uh, most of the fertile land in the, uh, was in the Delta. So, all this is fertile, right? But most of it was up here in that triangle shaped area of land. Um, and predictable flooding made farming easier. So it happened at the same time each year. So that made farming simpler for the Egyptians. All right, the next section on civilization developing in Egypt. Um, so simple irrigation, they had very simple irrigation without storage base. They didn't store water, sorry, because right? The, the um, rains were very predictable, right? So they didn't have to worry about storing water for future farming. Um, they had an abundance of food from the Nile. So picture the picture here shows some of the types of foods they would have got from the Nile River. Food like wheat and barley, uh, then other fruits and vegetables in the region, cattle, sheep, and then fish, geese, and ducks would have been, they would have got those directly from the Nile. But the Nile created the fertile land, so all these other things like the wheat and the barley, and you know they would have fed a lot of that to their to their livestock, right? So all of it kind of was they were able to get all this because of the of the Nile River. Um, back to this map real quick, uh, the the geography of of this area it provided perfect protection for the civilization, and let me explain why. So. You've got <clears throat> desert to the west, right? 
in the east, right? So imagine the people, they're all in this river valley, right? They're all living in the delta. They're living right in this green area um, surrounded by or surrounding the, the Nile River, right? So you have desert to the west and the east, right, to protect them. You have uh, the Mediterranean Sea to the north, right? So there's a natural sort of, uh, you know, sea protection there. Um, you've got the Red Sea in the east. So even beyond the, this desert protection, you've got the Red Sea here. And then you've got the cataracts along the Nile, right? Which we already mentioned before, right? It made sailing very difficult along these because these are pretty large waterfalls and rapids. So boats would not be able to sail down without crashing, right? So it, they had all these protections, which made kind of for a perfect situation for their civilization. Um, and so villages in, in, in this region combined to form Lower Egypt and villages in this region combined to form Upper Egypt. All right, there's three terms you need to know for this last section on kings unifying Egypt. The first is the term pharaoh, which is the title used by the rulers of Egypt. And here's a picture of a, what a pharaoh would have looked like. They're just like the king. They were like the kings of Egypt, right? Pharaohs. The word dynasty, it means a series of rulers from the same family. So in this case, you've got pharaohs ruling. And then when a pharaoh would die, their son would take over and then their son, etc. And then we've got this, this person, this, this pharaoh, Menes, who is a legendary Egyptian ruler. He unified the kingdoms the kingdoms of Upper and Lower Egypt, which we saw on that map, right? He unified them or brought them together and he built a new capital city in Memphis, which is, uh, let me go back here. Let's see. Um, I'm not sure this picture shows it, but Memphis is where he established um, his capital. So some pictures here. Uh, Menes, again, he brought Lower and Upper Egypt together through conquest, right, which would be wars and fighting and taking over land, but also through marriage by mar marrying, you know, marrying people in, certain, in, in another strategic, you know, civilization nearby. This would have helped, um, you know, solidify Egypt. Uh, he was the first pharaoh starting the first dynasty. Uh, so there's a picture with, of a map of Memphis, right? So it's all, again, along the Nile River. Today, Cairo is the uh, capital of Egypt, but that's the modern day. He established, I mean, he's established the capital in Memphis. Um, and his family ruled for over 200 years, spreading into Southwest Asia. So you can see it's spread into this region over here would be Southwest 